Recording in progress. Jeff, are you there? He turned his microphone on. All right, well, we don't have a quorum for board, so we're going to go ahead and do the committee meeting. Um, we'll kick off audit and finance, um, forego any shared comments, I guess, review of the financials. Megan, Jody, anything you guys want to point out there or discuss? Uh, well, as you can see, our bank account is pretty low, so we're turning in the one CD that we don't have at MBT. Yeah, we put in a, a CD last year for 12 months at MBT. Um, it matures on the 14th of this month. It was 235 with yeah. interest, it's about another 12,000. So um, we are gonna move that into our IDA checking account. We did do the reimbursement for EDA. So hopefully when that money comes back, and I think you did the second one also, right? Two. Yeah. So two reimbursements um, and then I guess we can either decide if we want to do other CDs or just hold on to them for now. Well, there's some money markets available now that they're paying uh, three and a little bit. Yeah. So, I mean, there's flexibility there. And, he did send me rates when yeah, I asked absolutely. him. I mean, we certainly shouldn't leave it dead in the checking account. Right. We could probably move it back in January, February. When we get that. Yeah. I think it's just waiting on the Right. Yeah. The account we want to do it. Well, please do it. They proposed to increase it by 25000 so we get another 225000 What's the what is the timeline on the business park? Which business park? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Pony Farm Road. The Salem, yeah. Um yeah. one of the issues we have on that is do we want to talk about well let's talk about that in projects, but is there a yeah. timeline okay. for potential closing in Eight. mind? Probably in March. Okay. Answers the question. So basically, it's temporary move. Yeah. For liquidity. Mm -hmm. Then we could. Morning, Tim. Morning, Tim. Morning, Tim. Good for you. Good for you. We revisit it when we have the funds available. Yeah. Based on cash flow, et cetera. Sorry, guys. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yes, yes, we can. All right. Had a, had a little challenge there. Apologize. Yes. Good news on how we're out. So I don't know if you could hear us, Jeff. We were just talking about the financials. And we're currently our bank account liquidity is a little low, so I'm going to let the CD. Yeah, our liquidity is high. It's just uh, our DDA account okay. is low. So. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so yeah, Ma and Megan and I. Yeah, Megan and I were talking that, uh, and that that was all along was the laddering strategy, right? For right. The CDs, is we knew we'd have them rolling off, and we'll roll the cash back into the DDA. Yeah, perfect. Um, and Jeff, you're one of the signers on that account, so you may need to go into NBT and sign off on us taking that money out of the CD and moving it. You just so let me know. Yep. I will, yep. Yeah, I reached out to Jamie yesterday. I haven't heard back on that. You're going to read it, right? What's the maturity date? The 14th, oh, okay. which is a Great. Saturday, so yeah. it kind of makes it complicated, but yeah. I think if you went in next week, it would be okay. Good. Yeah. We now have a quorum. <laughs> Not sure what to do with that yet. Let's go. Um, over. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else for audit finance? Uh, just a couple of housekeeping items yeah. uh, for me. Uh, um, everyone got the financials. We got them, I think, later yesterday mm -hmm. at some point. Yeah. Um, on the balance sheet, just for clarity, the balance sheet shows a significant due from, yeah. and and then there's a due to, but it's a negative due to down in the liability section. Can you just provide some details on that? Um, well, for the due from, that's um, that is Jim putting everything for Richfield Springs in that. So he's saying that we're getting all that money back from EDA, and once we get those reimbursements from EDA, that due from will come down. Whereas I put yep. them in our budget, I put them in the actual hunt engineering and Andrew construction. So that's the difference with uh, the due from. So those should be going down. Um, before we got out of the meeting, we mentioned that we've done two reimbursements for EDA. So, well, one is going in today. The first one's already in. So hopefully we get that money back soon and then that number will go down. Um, the due to other entities. 
It, okay. It's a do to, and it shows a negative 39,000. So it's almost a, a do from, right? Yeah. Now. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure without opening up QuickBooks right now and looking at what that number, where okay. we could All right. yeah, just, just for clarity, we need to just understand what that is. Yeah. I just need to open QuickBooks and I can click on it and look at it. It was the same thing last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then on the income statement, again, this is very petty. The, the date says October at the top of the statement. It should say November. I saw that. Yeah. I can't. He sends me PDFs, so I can't, I can't change that. Is the budget, is the budget that was supplied online to everybody, is it missing a page? Cause it ran through the revenue and then it, it ran through expenses, but there was, I couldn't tell whether there was another page or two that then came to a net. Um, I didn't have a, I only had two pages and, and it didn't do that. So uh, I don't know. I guess I'd, ha I'd have to look at what I sent. I thought I sent the whole thing. Yeah, it could, could be me. I don't think so, but it could be. It's probably, it's probably me. It's four pages here. But that's all right. It's, it's not, it's not meaningful because you have all the information that you're, that, that you're looking at here. Um, and then you could cover anything that's any significant change. Yeah, I can resend that to you. The board, the the packets here have all four pages. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> and, that, and Cheryl, uh, that's all I had. Okay. And we do have a quorum, so if you want to do an official adjournment, if there's nothing else. Sure. Get a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Sorry. Is there a second? Yeah, thank you. All those in favor, aye, we're out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, projects. I don't have a lot of comments. We have some things moving. There's an inertia and go. You just give us a quick my 30,000 foot view of where we are. Um, the only other rail yard is one we're down right now is a request for proposals to do a clearing of five acres. Um, that should go up probably from January to prospective landscaping firms. Um, they've been working with landscape small companies that are possibly interested in construction on property there. Yeah. Is there interest? You know, rail yards. Rail yards. Like all property or small parcels? Uh, both of them are small, so I've been showing them that that smaller one, and then I showed them. I also went to the business park and showed them um, the 159 and the one up in front where the sign is, because those are the two that aren't part of that uh, purchase order. So you're talking about the one in the area that was clear by Robinson. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. In Richfield Springs, we finally have a lot of movement. Uh, the memorandums of agreement between the town, the village, and the IDA um, finally signed by the village mayor and the town supervisor. They forwarded me a copy and we sent that then to EDA, which was our final number 33 specific conditions to release funds. Um, water hookup was done, I think, last Tuesday um, based on the signing of the agreement. Just take a moment and celebrate that. <laughs> Since the water hookup is there, there's been conversation the last six months about at some point having a public go to or whatever else. You know, I know we're not necessarily exciting people, but it'd be prudent for us to probably help make that come together, don't you think? Yeah. I'll reach out to the town, the village, and yeah. and Della. Uh, and see if we can schedule something right around Christmas time, I guess. Um, yeah, if there's someone, you know, someone in the town, or I mean, we don't, I don't want to leave, but for yeah. the background, and, and, yeah. you know, advancing that, you know, that if you make note of it. Can we assume that the hookup was on the back? Meaning there were no brownies? No. Okay. So what's the hookup mean? People are drying off it now? No, no. It, 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 it's just a line right now. Uh, there was concern that the town raised that well isn't it going to freeze and it's it's five feet below ground it's below the frost. Yeah, but those were in real time. 
Um, we did go out and hire a company to do pressure testing to verify that it meets all the requirements. I haven't gotten those back yet, the results, but um, that will be reimbursed by the grant as well. Um, they're also a minority and women owned business firm, so it helps with the quota on that. So, Jody, Jody, this is Jeff. Just to educate me, why are we hiring someone to do the pressure testing? Wouldn't that be part of the actual contractor's responsibility? In, in the contract, it actually says the owner is responsible for that. Really? Okay. Not, a, not unusual. Because the pressure testing, that would be done by the by an independent firm hired by the owner, not by the company. Well, you want the owner? You're keeping the company out. So, yeah. Right. They're, they're, they're all the question that you're asking. asking. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they do their own pressure testing, but then you counter it with your own firm. So, one way or another, we would pay for that anyway, whether the contract would pay for it or whether we care to do it. So, so, so but let me be my uh, devil's advocate. So we hire a firm that says you're all good to go and we close it up and then there's a pressure problem. Well, the, get, the contractor's not responsible now, right? So bond is still responsible. The bond is still out there, yeah. Um, until they complete the entire project. The thing is... All right. That's it, that, it, I, it's just it, it's okay. I don't want to hold up this committee. It just it doesn't yeah, make sense. That's a good point, Jeff. Because quite frankly, until something goes up in the business park, there will be no water running, you know, actively running through the line. It'll dead end. Ex ex exactly my so point. It right. could easily be two years before that water starts flowing into a building. Uh, hopefully not more than a year. Yeah, I was, I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, Amazingly, after eight months, we finally got a signed official time extension. Um, so we're good to go on that. On the grant. Yeah. Just to be clear. <laughs> Just so that allows us to uh, wait till spring for hopefully the, the natural gas line becoming 2025. Great. Um, the, our project manager, Andy Yee, says he's sorry it's so delayed, but they're really short staffed and it's just taken that long. He claims that I specifically called him about the drawdown request. He says, well, the first one will take probably four weeks. After that, any drawdown request we do will take probably about two weeks to get papers. So none of the village is going to draw for this at all? I'm sorry? No. Uh, the PSC is satisfied with the documentation that we sent to them. They are waiting for additional information from New York State Electric Gas that they were supposed to get last Wednesday. Um, I think the storms have put my six priorities a little bit uh, off kilter, so I don't expect that they'll get their documents until probably next week. Um, they did say that the PSC did say that they are prepared. Um, Either in January or February, they're trying to push for January to put it on a consent order, which means a consent agenda, which means would be just rubber stamp approved. Um, so that's encouraging. Um, and they are aware of our construction timelines and they're trying to do everything they can to expedite it. So, in summary, that's kind of what happens with which bills we need right now. So the, the, basically, to summarize, we're in the spring, we should be able to put it in the natural gas line, and then the paving can take place. Yes. Okay. So at Boney Farm, you said not a, we were in a meeting tentatively of a March closing? Yeah. Um, Obviously, whatever you're talking about, make sure it's... Okay. In, that, okay. in, in our board meeting and executive session. Okay. Anything else, Joey? Mm -hmm. Trying to work on a without agreement with IOXIS. Uh, they hired only a large number of people. We still owe them, I think, $90,000. So we're working on the last drawdown. 
Uh, we have to hold a public hearing originally we wanted to do it in December next week. Um, the town didn't put the ad in correctly. Um, so we're instead of advertising it for seven days, they've only advertised it for six. So we have to reschedule the meeting for January. Um, I've thought that New York State. Where do they advertise? We advertise. No, no, where? Um, in Daily Star? What, 400 people read it now? Yes. Yeah. They don't read that part. <laughs> no, <they don't. laughs> All right. It's just a little. That's who we chose. Who I read. Me. You didn't read it. That's a lawyer. Are we are we okay with the um lot line change? No, we're gonna discuss that. Okay, never mind. Um and then last The administration committee and the IGA committee recommended increasing our annual appropriation by another 25,000 this year. Um, the theory is that they're going to increase it by 25 in the next three years, bringing it up to a total of 300,000. Is there going to go two more? 8,500. Been telling that for 20 years, so not stop. Next time, first. <laughs> no, I'm a failure. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty much the summary. Of All right. Thank you, sir. Well, the only thing I have is uh, doing unfinished business. I would just encourage the board to think about the next project. I mean, if Pony Farm gets sold, uh, Richfield, you know, in Delaville, there's not a lot of extra room there. There's not much more to do. We have to be thinking about if we site a park, we try to buy some land near one, and, the, you know, we need to be thinking five years, three years, and five years down the road where we want to be. So we all see things and talk about it. Obviously, it has to have access to natural gas, high speed internet, preferably public sewer and water. But you know, we, we can't run out of stuff and then be dead in the water. Yeah, uh, so part of the goals, um, the KPI metrics is lots available. And yeah. so obviously, if we sell, we talked about re how do we reinvest that? No. So where do we, where do we yeah. next? Stuff? On, on that note, there's a tremendous amount of property. The railroad still owns down that area, correct? That's correct. Yeah. Do we know how much acres that is? You, you mean where the old roundhouse was? N not that we own, but they. No, no, the roundhouse. Yeah, the back side. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. own. It. They own. Yeah, it. I don't. Know. I would be curious to know what uh, ramifications, technology, technical issues arise. Obviously, pretty contaminated soil for all the things they pour in the ground. I don't think down there. It would be done, yeah, it's available. I'm just thinking of a, of a joint operation. Could could we market property down there? Um, that even the railroad? Yeah, I think we can, as we go into next year, yeah, right. I'm not going to assume we can go yeah. through, um, and right. then really charging these guys with finding what are the next opportunities, yep. what are those different options, and then bringing that forward to the board for discussion. Yep. Kind of right. I'm going to reach out to the uh, people in Philadelphia as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. As well, in their economic development department. Uh, so they're trying to give me a list of potential clients right now okay. that may be interested. They also should look at not everything that we own, the availability of other buildings. Other, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really probably the most we should have had that years ago, but because it, it, it brings in sizes. You know, we just right now we're just empty land pretty much. I don't even know. Yeah. But, you know, no, it doesn't, doesn't really help a lot. Of, Companies really narrow things down just by having. Yes, we should look at buildings. Whether we own them or don't own them, you should have that inventory. Right. I have worked with the um, realty company that actually marketed the the Northern Eagle facility, and we've sent that to Empire State Development a number of times when they have a site selection company that it needs a large building. Uh, but since it's been now leased by. Giovanni, we've taken that one off the list. There's a lot of other ones, though. Mm -hmm. There must be an inventory somewhere with some real estate. I mean, well, the 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 inventory the inventory list that you look at should include things like that building because the Chibani lease is only a three year lease, and 
if that doesn't extend, then there's going to, you know, that building's there. So there's potential. There's probably some validity in having a section of the list to just put buildings on that would be a great mm -hmm. fit, it, it, whether whether they're available or not, just to just to talk about. That list doesn't exist. Is that what I'm I don't think it does. No, no. We, we have our own inventory, and obviously, if we have a real estate agent, we have their inventory. But there's got to be some place that consolidates that. Yeah, no. Okay, it doesn't exist. No, I'll let like Ed May own the building. He'll tell you about. You know, you don't need to worry about him. He gets worse than everything. Else. So this is something. You know, a lot of people. <laughs> We should be talking to, even though I know who it is, you know, real textile. There's a factory in town used for storage. You know, we find it I mean, a simple the, the place up in Cobblesville was not owned by the IDA, but helped lease all that for them. So you know, we, it would seem like for the right return, somebody, a, a factory built. If it fits somebody, it could come to town. We've been easy, not five years from now. So, but anyway, that's all we proactive this moving forward. We got to so yeah, move to adjourn. No, we're not. We're just okay. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Say more all right. So since we do have a quorum, um, we'll go ahead and do the board meetings quickly here. So we'll call the board meeting of the C O I D A to order. Right now, do a roll call. Cheryl Robinson. Here. Dave Rowley. Here. Jeff Lord is online. Here. Uh, Tom Romeo. Here. Craig Gelbsman. Here. Trisha Kennedy is absent. Andrew Marietta, also online. And Tim Johnson. Yes. All right. See you in person. I will forego the chair remarks. Move into the approval of the meeting minutes from October 24th board and November 14th committee meetings. Any questions or comments or changes? Not, I'll take a motion. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Report of audit finance committee and treasurer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, as, as usual, I would let the discussion and the commentary plus the minute serve as the report. Okay. Any questions about any of that? Not going to get a motion to approve the treasurer's report. So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill of communication. We have a list of those. I didn't grab them, but <laughs> any Thing you want to point out there, Megan, any unusual payments or deposits? No, everything is pretty usual. You will see a bunch of payments to uh, Oneana City School District, Town of Milford, City of Oneana, Seagull County. Those are all tax payments from Advanced Biotech um, and Corning. Uh, Corning had an issue on their school district bill, so they sent us the remainder of that, um, and we sent that to the school district. Um, and then you'll see Advanced Biotechs on the deposit side. You'll see their tax payment. Other than that, um, worms not waste, they are moving out. So they give us November, December rent. And as of January, they won't be in the office. It was $50 a month, but you no longer using the space. Um, and that's it. Any questions on the bills? If not, I take a motion to approve payment. Second. Second, I'm number two. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Report of the projects committee. Uh, all right, Jody, give us a recap. We'll use what you're saying. We'll use that as our project committee. Awesome. Any questions regarding projects? If not, I would take a motion to approve the report on the project committee. So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Thank you. Hi. <laughs> any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Um, any new and unfinished business? Yeah, most of them will want to. Any public comment? Uh, do you want to do an executive session? But we'll save that and do it at the end of the CRC. So we'll just roll right into the CRC unless anyone has anything else for IDA. Okay, take a motion to adjourn. Sure. All right, moving into the CRC, we'll let the roll call move into order. Let the roll call stand from the IDA. If there's been no changes, forego chair's remarks. Approval of the meeting minutes for October 24th. Any questions, comments, or changes? 
Now I take a motion. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Any new or unfinished business for the CIC? Okay. Now I would like to make a motion to go into executive session for the purpose of, well, we have a two, actually probably two, the proposed acquisition sale lease of property and also personnel. Please note we come out of executive session, no action is taken. If you want to grab the staff, you can grab the staff. I'm going to adjourn. <laughs> um, motion to adjourn the CRC. Do move. Second. All right. So with that, we close out of board meetings, but we do have the governance committee. Andrew, if you want to take us through that. Uh, actually, I don't have it open right now. Can can I? Okay, it's pretty, it's pretty yeah. basic. Newer, any newer unfinished business? Oh, you mean just literally the committee? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. No. I. Uh, do we have any newer unfinished business that we need to discuss for governance? You know, for me, as I mentioned earlier, just uh, we'll be sending out the evaluation for Jody. If everyone could take the time to complete that, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and Jody will be doing staff evaluations by month end. How's that? I don't know if you have anything else, Andrew. No, I, I, I do not have anything else. I mean, do we, do we want to mention about? The position that we you know that we're just we're going we're revamping that eventually or do we want to say anything about that yeah we can definitely say that so uh, our search for needed director ended without any um, acceptance of authors uh, so we're going to go back out with a revised job description uh, kind of a project management management focus so i will get the market midpoint salary for that position and jody will send me job description um, to review before we, we take that out. We're gonna go to Indeed, and I might talk with my HR team to see if there's any other, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if anyone else has any recommendations in terms of where to post, but I will I will talk to my recruitment team, see if they have any suggestions. So we'll go back to the drawing board on that. So I, I think that's it for governance. All right, that's it. It's a wrap for today, guys. Thank you for coming in unexpectedly and getting through all of the agenda items. Thanks, everybody.